The Assistant Commander General in charge of Zone L of the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps, James Bassi, has charged the 49 new recruits in River State to devote their attention to safeguarding critical national assets and infrastructure in the country. Bassi made the call at the passing out parade of the newly trained officers and men of the NSCDC at the command headquarters in Portakot. The reports. Speaking at the parade, Bassi called on them to stick to the mandate of the Corps and also reiterated the commitment of the Corps to fighting oil theft to a standstill, urging the new intakes to follow the vision in the state. He said the era of molesting and harassing innocent citizens is over, charging them to be of good conduct in service. Is to defend the civilian populace. And that's to say that the era of harassing citizens, the era of molesting innocent citizens, the era of showing power to the general public that pays our salaries is over. The state commandant of NSCDC, Michael Oga, congratulated the new Intex and emphasized that the command will not relent in ensuring that illegal oil refining is addressed. Some of the new Intex expressed gratitude to President Muhammadu Buhari and the NSCDC Commandant General, Hamad Abubakar Audi, for giving them an opportunity to serve the country. You have been to apply. God has answered your prayers. You are now in the system. It behoves on you to do right so that the confidence that has been imposed in you will not be shattered. And so I enjoin you all to stick to the mandate of the court by law. My advice to them is that to be firm in their decisions and also to learn to work in harmony with sister agencies. I would like to thank the President of Nigeria, the Minister of Interior, and the Commandant General of NSCDC for giving me this privilege to serve my country. Among all the training, We've been moved from the civilian mindset to a military mindset. It's not been easy. And I am here to dedicate my selfless service to this nation and to the NSCDC as a whole. The Zonal Commandant noted that the country is losing revenue as a result of illegal oil bunkering and that all hands must be on deck to combat oil theft, which is inimical to the country's economic growth. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.